Good morning. I am Claudia. This is my wonderless Camino. I'm right by the garbage and I just saw something leave from over there. <laughs> Sorry. It is 6 a.m. Uh, today is Thursday, October 12th, day 27 on the Camino de Santiago Frances. I am in Linares, which is three kilometers past Osobrero, going to uh, Samos today, um, which is 27, 28 kilometers. Uh, it's 12 degrees, I think a high of 24 today. I'm wearing my mid-layer, I have my toucan, uh, shorts, uh, a bit windy. It feels good. Um, it's pretty dark out. I'm standing by a, a, like a light. But let me turn it around. I'm not sure if you can see the stars. Okay, I gotta get going. We'll chat soon. I'm glad I came up, decided to come up last night because this is what you see now. <laughs> I think most pilgrims are just gonna walk by him. Uh, I guess you can't really see him. Hold on. Like that? No, still can't see. All right, let's go. 155. Just when you think the sunrises can't get better. <laughs> so I'm in uh, Alto. What's this called? Something Alto. I can't remember. I'll, I'll, I'll write it down below. Um, so yeah, this is the highest point. After this, we go straight down. It's crazy to think that I'll be walking into Santiago four days from today. Four. Like I'm, uh, I'm like, did I do the math wrong? But no, I didn't. I'll arrive Monday, the 16th, in Santiago. Um, someone I met via my Instagram account from Canada, um, in Ontario, she, um, I believe she left a day before me. She left Toronto a day before me. But she started, I think she started on the Sunday and I started on the Tuesday. Um, she walked into Santiago two days ago. She took, I think, one rest day. Amazing. And the last day, she hadn't planned on it. But after 20 kilometers, she felt so good. She just kept going and going. Next thing she knew, she was in Santiago, 40 kilometers later. Amazing, Michelle, amazing. You did it. <laughs> uh, and uh, Tony, who I met via the Facebook group, the Camigas Facebook group for women, um, she, we met in Toronto and we had breakfast together. And she left, I believe it was August 30th. So she was um, more than a week ahead of me. And she finished, I think, two days ago as well. Which is just crazy. Crazy. I think she's on her way home already. I, I can't believe, like, in four days that's going to be me walking into Santiago. Um, and... Me, 
Tony, Michelle, Suzanne, Dasha, Marika, all women doing it alone. By themselves, not with friends. Just came out here by themselves and started walking. It's pretty incredible. Um, yeah. And I, I know I'm going to be really emotional when I enter Santiago because it's a huge accomplishment. Like, it's a big deal. You know, we walked every day with our pack. Every day. You know, 25, 30 kilometers every day. Yes, I took four rest days. But still, it's huge. And just like I can do it, you can do it. Anyone can do it. Look at my Portuguese sisters in their mid-70s. They can do it. You can do it. And there's people in their 80s doing it. Lots of people 65 up doing it. Lots of them. So, if you're thinking about doing it, do it. I highly recommend it. Um, if you have time, if you're retired, you don't need to rush. You don't need to have long days. You can ship your bag. You can take your time and enjoy the, the sunrises and the sunsets and make friends. I... I think I highly, highly recommend doing something like this. Uh, yeah. to remember if there are any other questions that I haven't answered. I think there was one that asked me, how do I feel about walking the Camino? <laughs> uh, some days are hard. Uh, and then you have mornings like this and it makes up for, you know, all the end of days. You know, when you, you're so exhausted and your knees hurt and your feet hurt and you remember that you have to take a shower and hand wash your clothes and try to figure out what you're having for dinner. Um, but then you have moments of like meeting really incredible people and speaking uh, to, you know, having conversations uh, with complete strangers and those little pieces, they add so much to the Camino. I think that's what the Camino is all about. Um, it's the people you meet on the way and the conversations you have. Um, yeah, that's how I feel about the Camino. Up until yesterday, it has felt like summer every day. Today is the first day. It feels like a fall day. Lots of leaves on the ground and you have that crisp fall uh, air. Uh, and you can just, you can smell like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's fall. Um, it is 9.34. I mean, it's still early. It can still heat up, but it just feels like fall today. And like the colors. All the, here, you don't get a lot of leaves. There's some, but look. 
This feels like fall. Once in a while you hear them dropping. Oh, I don't know if you heard that. And here, oh, there's um, acorns <laughs> just dropping. And chestnuts, huge, beautiful chestnuts. Beautiful. All I can think about is having roasted chestnuts. <laughs> it was gonna be like a big town. Apparently they used to, it's called Tree Castella because there used to be three castles here uh, and now no longer. Huh. I don't know, I thought it was gonna be like this big town. <laughs> okay guys left leaving Tree Castella, it's time to choose. Well, I already know where I'm going. But here you can go to San Zil or to Samos. To Samos. Tell me I have another oh no, to go to Saria. Uh so if you go to San Zil it's 12.53 kilometers to Saria. If you go to Samos, it's 19.73 to Saria. I'm going to Samos and I'm going to stay in Samos. So it technically, it adds a day. So if that's, you know, if you go to Samos, then you got to tack on an extra day. Unless you, uh, well, I'm, I mean, you don't have to, yeah, you do have to tack on an extra day. You have to stay in Samos. I wouldn't like walk through Samos and then continue on to Saria because the whole point of Samos is you're going to go see the monastery. All right, let's get going. Uh, it is noon. Uh, I've walked, let me check, 18 and a half kilometers, four hours and 20 minutes. Um, apparently I have a little less than 10 kilometers to go to get to Samos. Um, so probably, let's get, 
uh, an hour and a half maybe oh, well, let's say two hours just almost which means I'll get there by two had to stop uh, I think I'm getting a hot spot on my heel so I wanted to check it out before I got anything else I mean it doesn't look like it I wasn't going to change my socks but I'm going to put some KT tape on it um, and put fresh socks on I have 10 kilometers left to go I mean I don't know I don't think it's a blister definitely hurts a bit so yeah. I'm pretty sure I know why because look look at the back of my shoe <laughs> but the shoe in itself the sole is good and that's what has started happening to my shoes at home too after 200 kilometers. So I think that's what's causing the issue. Okay, so I switched up socks, put some KT tape on both heels, even though it's only my right heel that was looking like something was growing there. Um, and I patched up my right shoe at the back with some duct tape, but because the shoe is so dirty on the inside too, the duct tape was having a hard time sticking to it. So I'll try to do a better job tonight. I also put some lamb's wool um, in the back of the heel, like inside the sock, stuffed it in there, just to give it some cushion. Um, it feels okay now, so bothering me a bit. Um, on my left foot, I think it's a callus that's forming. I don't know if it's a blister. It feels more like a callus. Well, I still have a long to go. Like I just saw the map. It's, I just did 20 and a half kilometers and it's uh, quarter to one. I want it to be there by two. That's not gonna happen. So, uh, I was hoping I wasn't gonna use the clean socks because then I wasn't planning on doing laundry. <laughs> I don't have to do laundry. Um, I can walk up here. Give my foot a break. There's a bit of a, there's a bit of a thing to walk on the road. A lip. Um, there is, you can tour the monastery at 4.30, so I was hoping I'd get there at 2, have time to shower, do my laundry, hand, hand wash, and then, um, have, like, a menu del dia, and that'll be my, my meal for the day, and then, uh, tour the monastery at 4.30 and then attend uh, the pilgrim's mass at 7.30 because if I wait until after the pilgrim's mass to eat, it, it's just too late for me. Um, so that is my plan, but now I don't think I can do, I can do eight kilometers in an hour and a half. I know I can do that. Maybe I'll get there by 2.30. You know, it's funny. I think it was in uh, at Casa Susie. Um, you know, we were t all talking about, like, I think they asked us, like, uh, to talk, you know, introduce ourselves and sort of, like, say something either about the Camino or why we're there or whatever we wanted to say. And someone said, you know, I thought I was coming on the Camino to contemplate life and you know think about my future and what I wanted to do but all I'm thinking about is okay where am I gonna stay what am I having for dinner do I need to wash my clothes 
Do I have to take care of my feet? Where am I going tomorrow? Do I need to book? Like, that's all you're thinking about. Where are you going to sleep? What are you going to eat? <laughs> that's what consumes your days. It's not, you know, it's so funny because it's true. All, all I care about is like, you know, getting where I need to go. Um, do I need to, where can I do my laundry? Where am I going to get dinner? Uh, you know, <laughs> where am I going to sleep? Yeah, that's what my days are about. Feeling pretty tired. Uh, the Buen Camino app tells me two and a half kilometers to go. Uh, it's 1.49. I've been walking for almost six hours. I just feel really tired. I think because I haven't really eaten anything properly today. I had some toast and I had an egg um, and then I had rice pudding which I know has eggs and milk and rice in it but I don't think that was the right choice. It was very delicious. Um, but yeah, I think that's what's going on. I just feel really tired. I think we're almost there. I keep like going around the bend and like, oh, maybe I can see Samos. Nothing. So it's been on and off, like uh, in the shade and the sun. It's quite nice out. Can't wait to get there and have like a meal. I'm really craving steak. Steep downhill to Samos. Well, I haven't seen it yet. That's not Samos. That's straight ahead. This is the single room. Uh, whew. Um, that's room and bathroom, shower. Very nice. And look at my view. It is 10 to three. I want to see if I can shower wash my clothes and go eat something because everything closes at four and then dinner is only at eight. 